Hey guys, it's Bailey, and welcome back to the channel for what is going to be a review of a new lipstick collection from Rimmel. This is the only one lipstick, and there are 10 shades. I have all of them to show and swatch for you in this video. I got mine from Octoly, but these are available for around $7.50 ish depending on where you find them drugstores Ulta places like that but I got mine from Oxley like I said and I will link that down below in the um, info bar if you're interested in learning more about it let's go ahead and get started so this collection is supposed to be an all-in-one of sorts I guess it not only promises color as you can see from the, the shade on my lips right now which by the way I'll be showing shades like swatches throughout the video but in case you're wondering what I'm wearing right this very second it is 510 the best of the best what's really nice is these are true to color on the inside you can actually see the color that they are outside but then they're pretty true to color on the inside which I love when you have you know you're looking at some of the same packaging it's nice to have that kind of differentiator out on the outside if you own more than one from this collection. So that's a little bit about the packaging. More on the formula though, obviously, it's supposed to be very pigmented. Of the 10 shades, there are quite a few bold shades in here. Everything from kind of light nude, which I have actually already used in a tutorial a while back. It is the shade um, 700 Naughty Nude. It's this guy here. So there are some definitely more subtle shades, more everyday shades if you're not a bold lip wear but there are some very fun shades in here, like the one that I'm wearing, or um, Oh So Wicked, which is this gorgeous deep plum, uh, one of a kind, which is more of a wine, less purple, more deep red, lots of fun shades. Oh, and this orange, like call me crazy. So lots of different shades in this collection. All of them are supposed to be very, very pigmented. They're supposed to be very comfortable on the lips, soft, go on smooth, but a very thin formula. While it's supposed to be hydrating and kind of fortifying, supposed to feel very thin. And then it's also supposed to be long lasting. So have to say, really found it delivered on all counts. These glide on pretty smoothly. They are a relatively thin formula. So even though they do have a lot of good slip on the lips, they don't tug, they're not a dry formula by any means. They don't feel like you're wearing a ton of product that's going to then smear and migrate outside your lip line, which can sometimes happen with lipstick formulas that do promise to be super nourishing and hydrating. They're not nearly as thick, for instance, because I did recently review these here on the channel, as the Bite Beauty Amuse Boost lipsticks they're a lot thinner than that but I do find that they are similar in how kind of hydrating they are they just don't have that kind of thicker balmy really it's not the texture of a treatment kind of like the bite beauty lipsticks are these are a little bit thinner and so you don't get as much kind of hydration and, and treatment factor out of these but they certainly don't dry your lips out especially given how long they last this is another one of those formulas where even once the somewhat balmy or satin finish goes away as you're eating and drinking throughout the day the bolder shades will definitely stain your lips so you don't have to worry about going and touching up after a couple hours when all you've had is like a couple glasses of water maybe some coffee or something in the morning light snacking whatever you don't have to touch up after that it's really only after major meals that I find that you know right in the center of my lips is totally gone but on the outside these pr are pretty steadfast so it's not a whole lot of touching up that you have to do overall I'm really impressed with how great these are given the price point they're super affordable I would say the one downside and probably because I have those bite beauty lipsticks so fresh in my mind is the scent these have kind of a signature Rimmel lipstick scent where they're I, I don't know I can't put my finger on it but if you've tried the Kate lipsticks it's exactly like that but it does sometimes it's like kind of only occasionally that I can smell it in, he in here in this formula but it just has kind of a chemically sort of scent and the scent itself is a little bit overwhelming like it's definitely a synthetic scent across the board nothing like light citrusy or just sweet or anything no taste though so just the scent if that's all you have a sensitivity to something to look out for but if you do have like a taste aversion these really don't have any sort of taste at all so that is good but those are really my thoughts on these lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing more about them. If you've seen them on the shelves, I hope this let you help you decide whether or not you're gonna go for it or not. I would totally recommend it, especially if you're looking for a great lipstick color that you know pops or lasts all day without drying your lips out and you're not trying to break the bank. That's what these are great for. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.